Hey there, it's Brooks here from documentsnap.com and today we're going to be talking about a few different ways that you can scan using Lucion File Center, which is a document management application for Windows. So I'm going to talk about three different ways you can do it. And the first, and probably the most obvious to you if you have the application up, is this scan button right here. You can click that and you've got the new scan window that comes up. And from there, you can control a bunch of different settings. You can give it a file name. You can uh, you know, just adjust how you want the scan to work. And then you just hit Start Scan. Now, in order to do that, you need to have a scanner that is what's called Twain compatible. So you see here in my drop-down list, I have a Canon P215. So that would work, or pretty much any flatbed scanner, a bunch of different type of scanners that will work, have a technology called Twain. Now, if you have a Fujitsu ScanSnap, it's a different story because the Fujitsu ScanSnap, or actually any other scanner that does, that does not support Twain, then this scan button will not work. And you can see down here, there's a link here that says using ScanSnap, and you can click that to get instructions, but we're going to, uh, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I'm gonna hit cancel, because we don't want to use File Center's built-in scan mechanism for that. All right, so let's hear, hit cancel here. And then next, let's set up, if we have a Fujitsu scan snap, how to do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on the scan snap icon down here in your system tray. If you don't see it, you might have to click this little triangle to bring up all your different hidden icons. Uh, but I have mine in my tray, so I'm going to right click that. I'm going to go to Scan Button Settings. And the first thing you need to do, if you have this checkbox here that says Use Quick Menu Checked, you need to uncheck it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create a new profile. So what we're going to do is we're going to click here in the Profile drop-down box. We're going to get, hit Add Profile. And we're just going to call this one File Center. You can call it whatever you want, of course. Hit OK. And now what we need to do is add File Center to our scan snap. So if we hit Add or Remove here, you can see I've got a list of applications there. We're going to hit Add. And what we need to do is we need to find File Center on our Windows computer. So we're going to hit Browse. So what we need to do is we need to go to C our C drive, and then it'll either be program files or program files x86, depending on what version of Windows you have. If you see a program files x86, it's probably there. If you don't see that folder, then just go to program files. So I'm going to go to program files x86, and you can see here there's file center, and you can see there's a folder here called main. And here's filecenter.exe, and that's the one we want. So we're going to click that, and then click Open. And you can see an ugly looking path there that points us to File Center. And for application name, we'll just call it File Center. We're going to hit OK. And hit Close. And now in our new File Center profile that we've set up, in the Application tab, we're going to click on that, and right down at the bottom, we now have File Center. And the rest of the settings you can you can set to uh, whatever you'd like, basically. And we're going to hit Apply. And yes, we want to save the new settings, and we'll hit OK. So now, when we want to scan to File Center, all we need to do is left click on our Scan Snap icon in the tray and then choose, scroll down to the bottom, and choose our File Center profile. Then just select where we want the scan to go, and hit the Scan button on our Scan Snap, and it will automatically scan the document into File Center. Now, there's a third way to scan to the File Center, and I'm going to show you it using the Scan Snap setting, but really you can do this with any type of scanner or any 
even like a mobile device or something like that. And that is to scan directly to the file center's inbox. You'll probably have a cabinet called inbox and file center treats it a little bit specially. And if we right click on that cabinet and go to edit cabinet, we can see here the cabinet location and that's a location on our computer under doc in my case under documents archive inbox that file center is treating as its inbox so all we need to do is we can scan or save any document to that inbox inbox folder and it will appear in file center so i'm like i said i'm going to show you that in the scan snap settings but it will work with any type of device really so again i'm going to right click on the scan snap icon, go to scan button settings, and this, type, this time instead of scanning to the file center application, I'm just going to show you that you could scan, just choose none here, and we're just going to scan to a file. And on the save tab, I'm going to click browse, and I'm going to go to my documents, And if you remember, it's under archive, and then it's a folder called inbox. And everything else is the same. And yes, we're gonna save it. And so to show you how this can work, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip down to Windows Explorer here. And what I have is on the right hand side, I have some PDFs. And on the left hand side, you can see up here, I'm in my inbox folder that we just looked at in File Center. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a, any file here and drag it to my inbox. And I'm gonna copy it. And this is just the same as if we had scanned the document here. And I'm gonna go to File Center. And we can see now that in the inbox, the PDF that we just dragged in is there. So this is a really handy way to control, to make sure that whatever you scan or whatever you save always shows up at that inbox and then you can process it later. So this has been three ways that you can scan to Lucian File Center. For more Going Paperless tips, head on over to documentsnap.com. Thanks.